So mitomycin gel, it's a reverse thermal hydrogel that has the chemotherapeutic drug mitomycin in, in, inside of it. So mitomycin is a, it's a chemotherapy that has been used for a while in the management of non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. And what we have done for bladder cancer is we take it, it's a liquid chemotherapy, we instill it into the bladder where it remains in contact um, with the lining of the bladder and any tumors that might be there. And as you can imagine, the kidneys up here and urine drains down by gravity. So it's been very difficult to um, put medicine in the kidney and have it stay there, remain in contact with the tumor. Now, mitomycin gel being a reverse thermal hydrogel is, is very interesting in the fact that it's a liquid at cold temperatures. So we put it on ice, we prepare it and it's liquid, and then we can instill it into the kidney where at body temperature, the gel turns into a more solid uh, fluid that kind of sticks and stays there. Now, as you make urine, the medicine will drip out slowly, but only after it's been in contact with the tumor or area of concern for long enough you know, to take effect. So, you know, fortunately we have um, some good data now to help us determine who the best candidates are for mitomycin gel treatment. You know, first we want to make sure that the tumor is low grade, so we will perform a biopsy. Next, we want to make sure that the tumor is of a low volume, meaning that there isn't uh, a lot of tumor in the kidney. And what we can do is we can endoscopically treat the tumor with a laser to decrease the size to one and a half centimeters or less. Next, we measure the, the size of the kidney or the volume of the inside of the kidney so we know how much drug to give. Um, and then we put a catheter into the kidney and then the patients come for once a week for six weeks where we instill that predetermined volume of mitomycin into the kidney and then we perform close surveillance after that. Yeah, so I think that, you know, this drug is definitely unique in a lot of ways uh, with the reverse thermal properties that I, I mentioned before, but it really is the first um, non-surgical option for patients with low-grade upper tract urothelial carcinoma. You know, we used to try our best to endoscopically manage these patients, but recurrence rates were really high. And unfortunately, you know, one of the only options left after that is surgical removal of the kidney and the ureter. So, you know, this is the first renal sparing option for patients with recurrent low-grade upper tract urothelial carcinoma. And I think a really good option for patients who would otherwise, you know, have to face uh, surgical removal of their kidney. So it's really important to understand the indications for using this drug. So you, you want to make sure that you're treated in a center with you know, expertise in managing patients with upper tract urothelial carcinoma. At the Rutgers Cancer Institute, our section of urological oncology has a lot of experience uh, in treating all tumors of the GU tract, uh, including upper tract urothelial carcinoma. You know, patients are best served when they're treated in a multidisciplinary uh, fashion with you know, like a team-based approach from medical oncologists, urologic oncologists, uh, radiologists, pathologists, pharmacists. So it's, you know, it's really important, um, you know, that you uh, focus on that. And here at the Rutgers Cancer Institute and Barnabas Health, we believe in such a team-based approach.